what, how the U.S. is describing what this meeting is about from complete total denuclearization to just to kind of getting to know you plus? No, absolutely. President Trump is walking away from this very high expectation that he set himself up for this meeting. Um, we have a very different de definition of denuclearization. Washington does, Pyongyang does. When North Korea talks about denuclearization, they've always been talking about denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, not unilateral denuclearization of their weapons, nuclear weapons, uh, which of course has a, uh, alliance implication for U.S.-South Korea alliance uh, relationship. Our troop presence in South Korea and our extended um, nuclear umbrella that we had over South Korea and Japan. And it's very unclear from this meeting that Kim Jong Sir had with Pompeo and met with President Trump today that that's any different, that they are actually going to talk about or they're going to put denuclearization on the table as we define that mm. complete, irreversible, verifiable denuclearization of their nuclear weapons. And program. Max, even if that is on the table for the summit, there's no way, I mean, it's, it's I mean, he, he kind of decided to enter the summit on the spur of the moment, perhaps very little of the actual substance ready, basically making, right. in order to bring Kim Jong-un to the table. Yeah, that's very... A lot for the past few months with all the summitry, all the diplomacy, and with our agreement to meet with Kim Jong-un. And Kim Jong-un has played his cards very well. They've, he, been, they've been very strategic. Yeah, very hard. strategic. He has met with Xi Jinping twice, and there's, as you said, uh, political will to implement sanctions is already loosening, particularly on the Chinese front. Um, he has met with Moon Jae-in a couple times, and that inter-Korea stuff is going to continue. So, maximum, yeah, South Korean President Moon Jae-in. So this maximum pressure that we're going to do, is, it's going to be hard, right? And then the whole talk of this military strike, it's impossible for us to get back to that, particularly if North Korea does not continue with further provocation. I don't, I don't think they will, because Kim Jong-un is very, very smart about this. So no more missile tests and nuclear tests. So how are we going to get back to maximum pressure or military strike? So Kim Jong-un is doing pretty well, even without this summit. I'm just picking up on the point that Sue just made. I mean, uh, Trump kind of reminds me of Churchill's line that he's in January, where he talked about the murder of Otto Lombier and all the terrible abuses. He's got to find a happy medium. He's got, he can't swing from the extreme of hostility to, be, to excessive flattery. On the one hand, he's got to find that middle path. Yeah, Jim, it is remarkable for the president.